I'm from the Agriculture and Environmental Faculty and we're here in Laos visiting on the new Colombo Plan which was coordinated through the Sydney South East Asia Centre. We came to Laos to learn about food security and rural livelihoods of farmers and how they produce their livestock and that's what we've been doing this week. So far this trip has exceeded all expectations I had. We've had the opportunity to engage with so many different people from all different backgrounds and I definitely feel like I've learnt so much about the Lao people and their culture and how they live out their day-to-day -day lives. We've been visiting government organisations and we've also come out to villages to learn how farmers produce their livestock and ask them lots of questions about that. When we went to all the villages we felt very welcome. Uh, all the people that we did interview were very open to the questions. Uh, it was very useful for us. We learned a lot of things about how exactly they do go about working their poultry and all the, the diverse ways in which they do go about shaping their livelihoods. These students have had a fantastic time in Laos interacting with staff and students from the Faculty of Agriculture at the National University of Laos and they've gained an opportunity to learn real life um, experiences and skills by getting an opportunity to go out into the field, talk to farmers through interpreters, ask questions about the way they produce their livestock and also um, learn a lot about the challenges associated with food security, um, livelihoods, um, poverty alleviation within Laos. Uh, we've learned a lot in terms of, we've had lectures and a lot of field work, so we've really integrated both learning in the classroom and out. So I think some of the greatest skills are just being here and learning about the culture and the context of everything we learn in the classroom or the theory. It just gives it so much more background and you can understand their problems, their challenges, and what they're doing to try and face them. I'm so much impressed with the students that uh, during they are on the field with the farmer, just they are so much on the ground. They cooperate friendly with the, with the farmer, and they are so friendship. And they are attend to, to do the activity. They work closely with the farmer when they are in the field. And I do hope this activity should be keep continued in the future. Yeah, and I'd really like to thank um, the Lao government for the opportunity for hosting us uh, up here in Laos, and also the Australian uh, uh, embassy and the ambassador for their time and helping us understand uh, what they do uh, up here in Laos as well. The benefits for both countries include the students from Australia gaining a better understanding of our regional neighbours. For Laos, it's having the ability for students from another country, such as Australia, to come in and learn about their country, um, forge friendships that we hope will last for many years to come. Um, I've already seen the students interact and um, gain details of people in Laos which they will then continue to communicate with in the future. As governments, we talk a lot about the diplomatic relationship between Australia and Laos. It's important that governments have good relations with each other. But what really matters, what's really the, the fabric and the heart and soul of any relationship are the links between the people of two countries, and so our two countries. And so the, the New Colombo Plan is fantastic in terms of uh, those connections between young Australians and young Lao people uh, in a range of fields that I think is going to be very important for both countries in the future. I think the fact that we are such a multidisciplinary team, it really helps us to work together and it gives us new perspectives and also being in this country it's so different and it kind of immerses you in a new culture, lets you kind of, yeah, changes your perspective on things. Oh,